So I've been thinking about my channel a lot lately because when I was doing lives, I was getting a lot of subscribers, like a big chunk compared to like the years that I spent doing regular videos. And part of it's nice, part of it's a little, I don't know, disappointing because none of those new people have really engaged with the channel. I still get, you know, comments and stuff here and there, you know, from people who subbed through mainly my booktube portion of my channel. And, you know, sometimes I'll get comments on their videos and etc. and stuff like that. But the thing about it is, is like the new ones, you know, I don't ever really see anything except I sub to your channel. And the thing is, you know, I'm taking time to make these reviews. Like, I stopped doing wrap-ups. I'm doing, like, reviews, just reviews of books and stuff. I also have a second channel where we're mainly reviewing movies. Um, so I guess my question is, is especially booktube, but it doesn't have to be booktube, but that's mainly what my channel is. What draws you to content creators or what are certain content creators that you watch? Because I'm kind of wondering what I'm doing wrong. Because like I mainly want book people on my channel. Um, other people are welcome, sure. But when you come to this channel, you got to understand the main focus of my channel is going to be books. And so for me, you know, I'm open to different genres. Um, there's few channels that I watch like regularly that have just one specific genre that they talk about. I'm not really a person that goes for hardcore romance. So um, if that's the only thing that people are talking about and nothing else, it's not really for me. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just not for me. Because I want to also be able to engage, you know, in conversation with the content creator. So I think things like horror and it's starting to become also fantasy are two things that I will watch. That's if that's the only genre they're talking about. Other than that, I like people that kind of mix it up a little bit between different genres, um, different age ranges of reading. So what do you look for? Do you look for people that read horror or classics or only YA or only adult? Like I said, I like to mix it up a little bit. Uh, and what about names? Do you care about names? So the name grab you because I've you know, went through a few names that I tried to see that fit my channel. And so far, I really like a lot of their thoughts. I really, really like that. I think it fits perfectly. Um, but I don't know. It's like, do I have to change it to something more bookish to get more bookish people? I know there's a lot of uh, booktube accounts either have the person's just name or they have some kind of reading thing in the title. But I like a lot of thoughts because, I don't know, I think it just fits. But, yeah, I, I'd like to know what draws you to channels, especially booktube channels. So mine is, you know, do they talk about different things? Um, do they go in depth, at least sometimes, about, you know, what they liked about books, um, character analysis, and other things. You know, do they, do they talk about books and actually enjoying the story and what they liked about the story and stuff like that? You know, because I like hauls and, you know, tags and stuff, but I also want to actually hear about the books. So anyways, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.